Well, sometimes you gotta do the things that weren't planned to be done. Yeah, so the part that was needed for Nate's van was not available, so he's basically making one. And uh, Dame figured since uh, Nate was working on his van, well, you know, let's get rid of that clunk, right? That's right. And how are you doing? It's tight. <laughs> this one too. Thank you. So we'll catch up with you guys in a few and let you know what it is that we're going to attempt to do today, so. Stay tuned. So, last year, we had an amazing dig. It was probably the best teamwork dig we had ever done. Oh, look it, look it! There it is, there it is. There yes! It is. <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh yeah, it is. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Woo! It was 85, 85 to 95. 95. Could I be stuck anything. the pinpointer in there and I just saw this big old it's green a, thing. It's a holy hand grenade size. And when you guys were ready to come back out, Cliff calls me and says, hey, are we gonna do what we did at Guru's house last year? So we can do that. So guess where we're back? The Guru. We're at the Guru's house. This is the remainders of last year's dig. This is the wall that Nate built. We are going to dig out the side of the cellar hole again. First, let's give you our approach all right first of all guru good to see you you uh you all tied up all tied up all right trooper bry she made note to make sure that her shoes were tied because if they weren't you would notice and obviously we have cliff cindy Wayneos, Bess, and bill behind me which will explain in a minute what he's doing and hopefully the others will make it here when all vehicles are fully operational so there's the well. Correct. There's a step here. Yep. Probably went into the summer kitchen. And it's probably the front of the house. Yep. And the drive went down there, which dumped out to the road. So somewhere between here and all over here, we need to excavate. But over here, which would be the easterly side of the house, the house faced that way, we never really found all that much. So today, Spectrum Bill has specifically brought a different kind of machine to, you know, give it a tickle and see if you can get some different results. Do you want to explain to them what you're doing and with what? This is a White's TDI. It's a pulse machine. And pulse machines use a different technology than our usual VLF, very low frequency machines, and therefore, go much deeper into the ground. So if it's something that's been filled over, I may be able to find targets that we couldn't reach with the VLF machines earlier. And there is a couple different parts of this which are, you know, intriguing. One, I will be curious to see if you find anything over here. Two, the theories that you presented me with this morning about what this machine could do. Yes. Well. Check it out. I'm waiting to be impressed. One, you are a veteran detectorist. So you're already good. Pair it up with that. And it'll be interesting to see what the results are. Interesting is the right choice of words. Okay. All right, so you can see Cindy as usual is like, bam, Let's getting get in right there. in there. I'm looking for a spot to start. This I'll is start where we're going to start digging our pit. And we'll get back to you in a bit. and show you where we have got to. Alright, the boys have arrived. 87% I'm saying. Solid. 
87 percent yeah yeah i mean i gotta replace that tie rod you can't just cut a tie. i mean uh you can't just cut a tie rod in half and stick it in there and expect it to hold for the rest of the lifespan <laughs> right but in a pinch man you're a master but in a pinch yeah and uh dame yours i still got the clunk oh geez. we think we found that though yeah. it's gonna be uh I don't know, 140 bucks. All right, well, yeah. we're glad you've got this thing rolling. You've made it here. Work has begun. and yeah. But it seems to run smoother. So whatever we did with the CV axle yesterday seems to have worked. Yes. Good. All right, so the pit is starting to be a pit. A pit. Shards are coming out and stuff, but... Spectrum Bill just called for the camera. That's where it's at. Okay. Wow, Bill. Oh, is that pewter, baby? It is thick and it is heavy. Holy mackerel. Oh, yeah. I'm looking for a cast mark. It's there. Flip it, it and let's look for a number. Oh. Uh. It's a floral pattern with a rope edge. Wow. Nice. Very cool. Wow. About seven inches. Okay, so let me ask you, was it? Very clear. It was very clear? Very you didn't have any difficulty I, swinging over that and saying there's something decent there? No, I will tell you the last thing I, the I, last thing I dug that I thought was something like this was not something like this. It was this. It seems to be a piece of metal that's maybe a tube that's been smashed. Yeah. I, I don't know. All right. Well, Bill, I'm impressed with you and the machine. But that's a very nice button. It's beautiful. It's bricks. Oh, there's no big piece. Piece of card? No, oh, it looks iron. Sound it off. Get some bean Good. pot? Oh. Yep. Glass. Normally I don't spot them right away. Mom, you so me just happened to be on top. Oh, blue in it. Carla, I saw you summons the beard and point him over here. Why did you do that? Because I had been down here a few days ago with my machine, but I couldn't get dirty, so I marked it with a brick. <laughs> well, I had to go to work, so. Yes, yeah, so you weren't prepared. You right. worked it off. Anyways. So, yeah. Nice. So this is actually a, I don't know how you'd put that, a teamwork dual extraction. She had a feeling, and you uh, pulled it. Hey, a little glass. We got some bricks out of it. Bricks and some glass. I think it is Tombat. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, look at how the shiny the yeah. edge is. Yeah. But it's real thin. Good job. I'm thinking 22 show. It says button to me. Really? We'll see. I should be shoveling it. I'm compelled to walk. I think you got one. Oh, yeah. Button. First button out of the pit. First button of the season. I don't know if it's a button or. Oh yeah, it is. Great job, Beth. Thanks. Oh, she didn't find that. Yeah. I went to the store and bought it. Um. What are you at, a foot deep? Yeah, it was probably about a foot, foot and a half. All right, well, good, good. Well, we're actually plucking buttons quicker than last year. We had to get pretty down. Right, and we're not even close to the lip yet. We're still just basically getting down far enough and starting to move this way. Yeah. Well, Nate's swinging over here, saying something. <laughs> no, I won't. Yeah. Not in this yard. Oh my god. This is the first one I've ever dug. Guru, in your yard. Yeah, in my yard. Oh my. Spanish. Half real. Holy. 1781. Crap. From here. 1781? Yeah. That's a Spanish wow. half real. Holy. Oh, right, Nate. 
Wow, buddy. That is insane. I might actually cry right now. That's okay. I didn't think it was going to be that important, but it is like, important. that's pretty freaking amazing. Amazing? One, how many times we've worked the guru's yard, but the fact that it came <laughs> out of this chunk of land is makes it even more wow. remarkable. Whoa. It was like 77. Yep. And it was like a weird chirp. A chirp, yeah, like a. It was solid, but it was like. You could tell it was small. How many times do you think you've walked over this in 30 some odd years? A lot. <laughs> Hopeful, right? Yeah. Right there. All right, well, back over at the pit. Cindy just recovered a rather large animal staple. Yes. Big rivet that would have went in leather. That's actually a, a longer one than we're normally used to seeing. Knife. Is it a knife? It is. Dinnerware. That's what you were swinging over. You said there's iron here. Cliff. Scraping away. Making my living. One shard at a time. Oh. Ooh, it's multicolored. Oh, oh, oh it's got oh. buildings oh. and boats on it. Oh, yeah, boats, buildings. Wasn't there one last year? Yeah, boat? one was. little tiny shard with just a little boat with a and person look, on it. Lions, tigers, and bears. Oh, oh, my. Look how thick that is. Real thick. Amazing. Good job, Cliff. Yeah, I'll spread it out, look for our visuals, and then we'll swing over it, and then we'll get it out of the... Now we can extract it from the hole, from the dredge. It's a weird one, it's 37 to 42. Is it a button? It is a button. Yes. Yes. Woohoo! Thank you, thank you, Cliff, for, <laughs> yeah. for exposing. Yeah, exfoliating yeah. the. Got probation the last time I exposed. <laughs> <laughs> Full shank, Guru. Nice. That's the third Class. one out of our hole. Keep swinging. Very good. This side's been very good. A productive hole. It has been. And it's a little bit. Yeah, you already judge what you're allowed to dig, so. <laughs> How's that for a shock, huh? Well, that one's a big dog, Charlie. Get help. Oh, you don't need help with Nate I know, but hand. I don't want somebody. Careful. Yeah. That's a huge. Where are we putting it? Will we have somewhere? Yeah. Put it on your wall. Not on the yeah. scones. Continue this wall. Not on the scones. <laughs> make a good corner down. What do you got here, Beth? A little vein? I got a little vein going on. There's that piece. About six inches. This is really big. Full. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it a big piece? Oh, my goodness. Huge. There's a lot more in there. Oh, tons. Maybe it's the rest of that. You know what? Yeah. Nice. That is awesome. Yeah. How many servings of grouse were on that? <laughs> <laughs> so Guru has figured out that this is called the this part here is spatterware. I think. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure they will. So Nate was just free ranging in the yard again with his machine. Dug a very cool button. Wow. So Nate just walked back over with another button. That is different. Yeah. With shank. Good. I wonder they married her off at 
Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, that's different. Is it a sharp knife? The handle's gone off of It's it? a small blade. The, yeah. the handle wasn't very big either. No. Well, that's ancient. Maybe I went with the kid's spoon. All right. Beardo's going. You did, uh, you did good today with the vehicle yeah. and the detecting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you made a successful day. Yeah, I'll say. We'll see you down the continuum. Yeah. Some point. At some point. Thanks, Nate. Adios. Oh, there so it is. So that's number six. This is the, not today, but in uh, total, the sixth two prong fork to come out of this site. Wow. So everybody's over here mulling over a signal that was. Pretty deep, scraping, scratching, wondering. Yeah. And... Nice. It was definitely right, curious enough. So, so we've had a very, oh, very good here. day. That's one person. Lots of beautiful shards, well, pieces, and, and other fragiles came out of the pit. Some buttons, and then never mind what was, was found detecting yeah, around a, a of stone the footprint of the hole. But now it's time to fill it in. Coming through. Sort of well, rocks coming through, yep. Yep. Oh, and uh, call it a day soon. Yeah, we'll get that. That'll make a nice top neck of this cliff. So you just found this, starting to fill in the hole. It's like yeah, it's like a little cornucopia thing with nuggets. That is awesome. It's only half of it. That's only the half of it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, man. Yeah. Well, everybody. Success once again. As mm -hmm. Dame said earlier, silver two years in a row. We'll get six buttons. Yeah. A fork, two knives. Shared load of shards. A shared load of shards, yeah. yes. Sure. <laughs> One with a shed. ship on it. Yes, right. right. <laughs> Stapled animal. Phil, I am impressed with what you did with the machine. Uh, the UTI? The UTI. Yeah. Yeah. We've renamed the TDI. You were on fire with that UTI. Mm. He's pulling shards off the surface while we're sitting here. Guru's garden is magical. It is. Right? Obviously. Mm. Who'd have thought it's like the octopus there was a reality. Reality. I'd like After to be under a tree. Yeah. yeah. In a history guru's garden. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. By a well. well done. <laughs> with that, I'm putting them on the spot to take us out of here. That's you and I. Go, girl. Just, you, just Lou and I. Right. That's right. Stay young. Always keep them guessing. And, and live free or die. die.